All right, so a few weeks ago, I made a video about my Asus Sonar EST2. I was talking about the eight RCA channels and how I was hoping to use them as four separate pairs. Uh, and it turned out that I couldn't actually do that. I suspected I would be able to do it with Studio One. Possibly I might be able to run it through voice meter and get it to uh, get it to work. So I have actually found a way. In fact, there are th three ways and the way that you will be best for you will really just depend on your, your use case for it. But I'm going to start with the first and easiest one, voice meter. I already had this installed. I've, I've done a lot of videos with voice meter. This is probably the most straightforward. It's just another hidden function. I mean, it's not particularly hidden, but if you don't know it's there, you won't even, you won't even think about using it. Okay. So how do we do it? Well, right here, all of these are in normal mode. What we can do is it has this composite mode. So what we then do here is we select what you would normally think of as being the stereo speakers on, on the output on the sound card on this and this one, lots of, I mean, lots of sound cards have 7.1 out. They're just delivered through the 3.5 mil channels rather than these RCA pairs. Um, so whatever the output is, you can just, you can just click on that. So now that's all eight channels are connected here, but most of the signals that we get in a stereo. So what we can do is we can disregard, like we can disregard all of these, where are we sending all these things to? So we're using a one. So let's just undo a one. So it doesn't, it doesn't get, doesn't get us confused. It doesn't matter about any of the other places it's going. Cause we're not, we're not using, we're not using that at the moment. So we have our system has been routed to come in here. So that's all the computer sounds except for, uh, the music and the discord. I mean, it doesn't have to be discord. It can be Skype, whatever. Um, but really what I'm looking to do is I want to separate my microphone, which is over here. You can, you can see it there. I'm not actually recording through voice meter, but it's still, it's still showing there as you can see. And the system sounds separately. I want to record anybody I'm talking to, you know, they might, they might, they might say something that I don't want on a video. So I want to be edit that out without taking all the other sounds out or taking myself out, or maybe they're just speaking over me and I think they're being rude and I want to just cut that bit out. And then the music, maybe you accidentally play some, something that you don't want to be on your recording. Like for years, people have been doing this on Twitch. They've been playing, been playing music and it's, they now got all this DMCA stuff, but maybe you want to play music to yourself while you're playing the game and you don't want it to be recorded. So you want to keep that channel separately, whatever your reasons, it doesn't matter. And you can use whatever you can send three different applications here. So what am I going to do? Well, to start with, I'm going to, I'm going to get this. All right. So we've got VLC now. One of the good things about VLC is besides it being it's open source free, you know, free software and you know, you don't have to pay for it free. You can select your audio device here. You don't have to mess around in windows. You can just do this and you can just change it while you're playing. So. Let's start with doing it on voice meter input. That's the first input on voice meter, which is here. It's the system in, not the music one. I'll change, I'll change it to the music if that's what I was doing. Uh, I've got this little track I want to play. You can't hear it. We shouldn't be able to hear it anyway. So it's currently coming in here. So if I send it to A1, it, let's turn that back up to, and there it is there. See, it's coming in. I've, I've connected that back to make sure that it's actually coming in. So like, if, it's definitely not coming in a in from there and it's definitely not coming in there. Otherwise it would show. Yep. So we switch into this composite mode. Now we go into menu and system options. Now down here, you'll see there's this patch composite. 
So this bus channel thing is just basically leaving it. It's basically just leaving it as it is, but you can change that. So this is, this is input six, one and two. Input six, one is there. And there you go. So one and two from here is over there. Okay, so we haven't changed anything. That's no different to what it was before. But what we actually also want to do is we want to do the other, we want to do the other eight channel. So let's say we put Discord. We won't use Discord for this. Well, okay. Now I'm just going to switch VLC over to using the auxiliary, which is the second one, the voice meter auxiliary. So it's now coming in here. And we can check that by, we can send that to say A2. And yeah, there it is. So we know it's coming in over there. Notice it won't go, it's not going to A1 because that's now configured on that composite. So if we go back into the menu. Now this is channel seven left. And channel seven right. So. Right, we've got the first four configured. So now well, let's do. Audio device voice meter three. Let's first check that voice meter three is actually working and we'll send that to number, send that to number two. It's going to number two anyway, but there it is. Yeah. Number three is definitely working. We've got the, we've got the little track coming in there. So now we want to change five and six to channel eight left and eight right. There you go. And what about the last one? Well, we can use them. I mean, maybe that's all you need. Maybe you just need those three. Uh, if you want to add your microphone in as well, potentially what you could do here is you could be sending those out to like an analog mixer that has, has no USB, nothing like that. You want to just send your signal signals out. It's ideal for that. So we've got the RCAs, it's got the RCA cables, the old analog style cables that can go out into an analog mixer. And then using the line in on the back of the sound card. You could then come back from the mixer with your mix track, which then you then pick up in OBS and that's your stream done. But if you did that, you'd also want to have your microphone mixed in. If I down mix that into mono and this is two left and two right. There we are. Now you can see we've got four tracks coming in there now. Notice here it says pre-fader. Now what that does is it takes the signal before these sliders. So I can hear myself talk because this seven and eight here are connected to my audio interface and that's coming back to me, even though it's muted. I just click here. You can't see that it's a button, but you can click there, post fader. Now I can't hear myself anymore because it's now doing it after the mute. See that that's muted. So I can't hear myself. Um, if we unmute it, see there, I'm there and I can hear myself again. I'll just show you that with this channel. So muted it's look, it's disappearing because it's post fader. See that if I change that to pre fader, there it is. It came back. Now I'm going to put it on post. So it's not, it's not bothering me. If I bring up my audio interface control panel, you can see seven and eight is actually there. I've got it muted. So I don't hear myself but it is being recorded by the computer. If I look in sound control panel, you can't see any signal from seven, eight there. However, I've added seven and eight to my OBS and it is actually receiving a signal there. And you can see it's kind of the same pretty much as I'm talking, you can see that it's recording seven, eight as well, or it's picking up seven and eight. It's not actually recording it. Okay. And that's that. So I could send three different cables out of there and into the audio interface. I've, I've got two on the back, two pairs on the back, and I can use the XLR combo ports on the front 
for the other, other for one of the other pairs and using the mic on one if you wanted to if you had like i say you had a, a usb mic instead you could just connect it up there the same and send it through in the same way but then send it out to the audio interface you could mix it in here and then run a cable back from the audio interfaces output into the sound cards input which you could then pick up in obs and record your mix thing like i described with the, the analog mixer you could do that on this audio interface because it's got a mixer built into it the, the more basic ones don't have this and also you could pull it into studio one so i've, I've got this ready i've got studio one i've got seven and eight uh just look at my audio inputs i've just created one input channel which is on seven and eight for my audio interface i have other videos about how you connect studio one to audio interfaces and also how you can connect it to voice meter but look for that in another video uh that's it for this one then uh, and i'll see you next time